Hello, my darlings. I am so happy to greet you today. Each of our meetings is very precious for me. I have a strong feeling that it is important to record this video. A lot of people turn to me for help, saying, I am in a difficult situation. Sometimes, we mistake small stuff for difficult situations. I'm afraid to go to my boss and ask for a raise. I'm afraid to tell my dear one that I need more love, care, and tenderness. Sometimes, of course, there are very tough situations. For instance, I can't afford paying my child's tuition fee or the rent of our house. Sometimes, I receive letters from people saying, I am terminally ill. And sometimes, they say, I have no vital power to go on living. Everyone has their own tough situations in life. Unfortunately, they never taught us in school how to deal with those situations. They taught us to jump over some obstacles, make a long jump, a high jump, but they never taught us to jump over such obstacles and climb to the top. This is what I want to talk to you about today. Life obstacles are only there to make us stronger. Do you know about this? I hear some of you say, how is that? After all, I am losing energy. I am losing power, peace of mind. I am losing sleep. I have so many problems. How can that make me strong? Dear friends, God never gives us more than we can handle. Thanks to every situation, we can reach the peak of success. One of my students shared her story. When you told me that obstacles make us stronger, I did not believe it. I just couldn't accept it. When I came to the office, I was given a task by my boss. It seemed absolutely impossible to me. The boss told me strictly, if you don't accomplish it, you will lose the bonus. I thought, oh my god, I really need this bonus. Because I wanted to take a trip to the holy places. At first, I wanted to give up, I will never make it. It just won't work for me because I can't do it. But then, I remembered your advice and started to do a special exercise. After doing it, I felt a surge of energy and decided, why don't I give it a try? Then, I started to work on the assignment. I ended up doing it better and faster than anyone else. When the boss saw it, he said, frankly speaking, it was a test for you. If you've done a good job, you'd become my deputy. And if you failed, I'd have to let you go. You won't have any promotion or bonus. I was just sitting there and praying, oh my god. I hope he likes my work. And what do you think he did? He really liked my work, and now, I am his deputy. Dear friends, never give up in difficult life situations. They are complex, they are different, but they are only there to make us better. I'm going to tell you how to prevent any difficult situation from getting you stuck at a dead end. Any situation in which you don't know what to do. There is a cosmic law. Imagine other people experiencing the same difficult situations as you are. For example, you are ill. Think of those people who are ill too. Or you have financial problems. Think of those people who have financial problems. If you are single, think about the fact that there are billions of single people in the world. In any situation, think that there are people in a similar situation. Right now, I'm going to tell you about a cosmic law. Start praying for all the people who are in a similar situation. And you will see that the higher powers give you a lot of energy. If a person prays only for themselves, they are given only a small stream of energy, only for them.
If a person prays for two people, then he or she is granted with twice as much energy. And if a person prays for all the people who are in a similar situation to theirs, then God gives him or her a lot of strength and energy. Because God does not want people to be selfish. God is love. God is compassion. God really wants us all to be compassionate and to love others. Believe me, when you pray for other people, your situation will be easily resolved. You can easily jump over your obstacle, simply and easily, and rise from your level to a higher one. It may be this way or another. That's why you must just remember this important cosmic law. Some of you may say, I can't pray. And someone else will say, I don't have enough vital power. I don't have enough energy to pray. That's where you can make use of special amulets of power that will enhance the energy of the heart center. After all, the energy of love comes from your heart. I am now holding a special amulet of birch bark in my hands. It has the stone of the heart, the malachite. When a woman holds this amulet in her hands or wears it on the area of the heart, when it opens the flow of energy from the heart, then her prayer can become two, ten, or even a hundred times more intense. When you hold the amulet in your hands, there are no barriers and no obstacles for you. Imagine that your problem is solved. The energy of prayer which will be directed to all the people with the same problem will work its magic. Their problems will also begin to be resolved. And you will make hundreds or thousands of people in this world happy. Because everyone in this world sometimes falls ill. Everyone feels lonely. Everyone has problems that hold them back from success. And you will become a savior a savior of this world. You might say that savior is too strong a word, but it isn't. When we help others, God helps us. If you don't believe me, let's do an experiment together. I invite you to do an experiment through which you will feel this power. Pray for other people for 21 days for people who are in the same situation as you. Please, let me know how your condition has changed following this exercise. How your situation has changed. See you soon. If you find it difficult to immediately give up attachments and bad habits that create problems, you need a talisman and a special ceremony that will be held by a shaman at our seminar also, we invite you to visit the group and bring new women to the classes.